Hey there, this video I was gonna talk some about my grandfather and his, my Oklahoma heritage. He was born in, I believe 1920 in Crescent, Oklahoma, uh, right north of Oklahoma City. And his, I believe his, I think it was his grandfather came down in the land rush in 1893 or whenever it was. And uh, the family legend has it that his name was Benjamin Franklin Ryland. And he, uh, they say that he left the night before. He left early, one of the Sooners, and uh, was was able to get one of the better the better claims and and stake the claim and what became. And they, well, they uh, platted out the town of Crescent, Oklahoma. Him and his partner, so I can't remember his partner's name. I looked up the history of it a, a couple of years ago. We were up in Crescent, went and saw the the uh, cemetery where my great great grandfather's buried, Benjamin Franklin, and a bunch of other family members that that are, and a bunch of other Rylands that I don't know exactly how I'm related to. But uh, I always thought that was pretty cool. That was some that was a story that I was always heard when I was a when I was a young kid, and another story I always heard was I believe my I believe it was my grandfather Raymond's uncle that was that rode up the Chisholm Trail driving cattle back in the heyday of the big cattle drives and there was a story that I always heard when I was this is er, as early as I can remember about him his my grandfather's uncle and I don't even know his name but but uh waking up one night in his bedroll when it was real cold somewhere in somewhere in Oklahoma or wherever it was and uh, in fact, I got no idea where it was on the on the drive, but he woke up and there was a rattlesnake had crawled down into his bedroll for warmth, had curled up or huddled up next to him, and he said he uh, very very uh, slowly and carefully eased out to where he could reach his reach his gun and reached over and shot that snake right there at his bedroll, and uh, I guess he had to make the rest of the trip with a hole. <laughs> which I guess is a small price to pay for not getting snake bit out on a cattle drive. And back at that time, there probably would have been a pretty bad deal. I'm not saying it was necessarily fatal, but I'm sure that wasn't something you would, uh, would not made for an enjoyable trip. Anyway, I guess hearing those, hearing those stories when I was a young kid, that kind of set me on a path. And that set me on a path to where I am now, wanting to be a cowboy Everything I've done, I've looked back on it and going to horseshoeing school when I was 19 and everything I've done has been, the arc of my life has been uh, uh, kind of striking back for that heritage and, and wanting to reclaim some of that pioneering spirit that maybe have still in me, even though, and my dad's got some of it in himself, being an entrepreneur and, and uh, you know, being a, he was an, an early software entrepreneur and but like my grandfather went into the into the navy in second world war and and went to divinity school and became a preacher and later a catholic priest but but from that point on they, he never went back he never had anything to do as far as i know with with uh you know he despite having lived through the through the depression and telling me stories about about bartering and and saving the chicken bones to feed the dogs and and there no there being no cash available you know during the 30s when in the dust bowl he was there in the thick of it and i think it soured him on on the on the uh the ranching and farming or the i don't i don't i don't want to put words in his mouth god rest his soul but he had bigger he had other things to do in his life he was called in a different way and so he he left all of that behind and and I don't know if he didn't have any, see any value in it. Honestly, I, I never got to ask him, but I do know that, that, uh, I don't know if there's, if you have like a generational, uh, remembrance or a spark or something, but, uh, I've always in my head since I was a kid, I've always associated myself with the, with the Sooner Rylands that, that came down in a covered wagon from the Kansas border in the late, the late 1800s and start and founded the town of Crescent. And I spent a lot of, I've got to spend a lot of time in Oklahoma and maybe one day I'll, I'll end up there for, for good. But, uh, yeah, that's a story of, of my Okie heritage and 
and maybe, and maybe, I guess for sure that's that's what set me on the path to loving horses and and everything about cows and beef and and the whole cowboy way of life, if you want to call it that. And I've never, I've always been on the outside of it to some extent. And when I was after I went to horse shooting school, I worked for a guy in North Texas for several months and, and he, uh, we didn't get along that well. And I remember one time when I was kind of parting ways with him and he told me for whether it was true or not, I don't know, but he said, and you're no, you're no fucking horseman. And, and, you know, he was cussing me up, up one side and down the other. And, uh, <laughs> that, that kind of, that, stung in a way that I never forgot and I've, I've forgiven him for it but but it spurred me you know in <laughs> it's driven me in in the direction for better or worse of of being a student of the game and becoming a horseman and and I know it's maybe a little bit juvenile to do something to prove a point to someone you don't care about but but oh over time I know that was a that was another that was another uh reason that I that I stuck to it so hard and for better or worse now, my my uh, livelihood is dependent on, well, I've been in, in the shoeing business and the racehorse business and now in the rope horse business, in a small way in the rope horse business, kind of just getting started. But but uh, I've proved some things to myself and, I, and I'm pretty proud of what I've done and the, 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 the distance I've gone to, <laughs> to follow my dreams that I, that started when I was a little kid hearing those stories about my, my ancestors. So that's all I'm going to say about that right now. I will have more in the future and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.